Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm so thrilled that each and every one of you are here. So today, well, today we're going to have a good day. Um, we are going to go over the things that I've already made. I want to share the things that I made for this particular journal and how far I've gotten in it, which isn't as far as I'd like. I've done more with the ephemera than that. But before we get going, how are all of you? Are you all good? Are you safe? Are you healthy? Are you happy? Are you crafting? What you doing? Are you working? What's happening? So anyway, I hope you're making good, fun things. Um, hopefully you're gonna craft with me or sit and craft while I um while I chat and make some goodies. Hopefully I get something made. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, you know, one day at a time, right? One second at a time. <laughs> you're silly friend. Okay, so anyway, we've been working on this tall journal. And I'm now tying it with this little piece of, um, it's the edge of lace that I cut off when I want lace that's gathered to be flat. And I thought it was perfect for this journal. Probably isn't long enough. I'll probably have to see if I can find a longer one. But, and then I made a bunch of goodies. Now, the, these goodies here I made in Monday's video, but it wasn't finished. So I want to share that with you. Um, and then um, we'll go over all those other goodies. I also wanted to show you what I've done in the journal. Not a ton, because I'm busy making ephemera, and then I'll figure out where it's all going to go, and that's going to kind of help me finish the journal, you know, uh, decorating it. But I did, let's see, I don't remember if the lace pockets were in, but they're in now. Uh, I have a lace belly band. I put that in. I have this darling little heart pocket that I did. It's got some lace and a word and a piece of lace. Now, this lace is not, um, it's just glued in so that I could put a tag or something in it. Now, I notice it's loose, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that while I see it because that's a good part about showing off what you did. You can go back and fix the goodies. Now, what I wanted that for was for a little tag, like a tag like this. And this is a tag I made in another video. It's a layered tag. It's just stapled. And it's a bunch of cute little decorated tags that can go into your pocket. So the goal of this is it's a little tuck pocket. You could just slide it right in there like that, okay? And then I made this tall journal tag. And I used Heather's, one of Heather's digitals for this from Ruby and Pearl. Because this whole kit is, um, well, the journal is Ruby and Pearl and a little bit of Uniquely Ella. So I made this from her, let me show you if I can find it. It's right next to me here. Just give me a second to dig it out. From, this is, I don't know if she calls it snippets or I'm not sure, but this is a ruby and pearl. And so I just took a strip and backed it and made it into a nice heavy, um, I put it on a piece of um, file folder and glued it on and decorated it and I made two of them and so they are a nice tall journaling tag and then you have a little mini journaling tag here and they're all backed so that would go in there like that okay and then I put some washi tape now this is from chapter one papers and it's our washi paper tape and I put that on the edge let's see I added some of that uh, tape and then this was just a scrap from the kit and some laces so I decorated that up a bit and this is a pocket so you could put something in this pocket something like this would fit in there oh actually I think I would like this now I made this this was from a piece of scrap and I added a little tag and another tag there a little bit of lace and it's on the back of this really soft kind of yummy velvety um it was a straw box and so um I just used that to back it hold on I want I see some glue I don't want on there so I'm just gonna take my little rubber eraser and get that off there okay so yeah I got some got a little glue on there let me get that off so you would just put a little tag in there like that actually I like this better now I made this little tag and this was a guest check and I just used bits and pieces from Ruby and Pearl and some words from Sam Poole. And this is from the kit. Isn't this a darling for Ruby and Pearl? And um, I put a little bit of pink lace and a little heart applique. It was a piece of lace applique. 
and we've got some words and I just did some layering and all of it comes from her kit. And so I'm gonna actually put that right there. I really like that there. So I think that goes there. So we're filling it up as we go. I then added a piece of paper. This is from the kit as well and a piece of vintage lace, kind of a um, crocheted lace. And then I use this from Ruby and Pearl. I mean, not Ruby and Pearl. This is from Chapter One. So, and then it's it's um, copied on both sides. That's a Ruby and Pearl, Ruby and Pearl, right? So, I created a little flip so you can have a writing space. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this lace, guys. It's gonna drive me crazy. It catches on everything. So, out you go, out, out. All right. <clears throat> so we have that. And then, now we have a pocket here I haven't decorated, but something, this would be cute in there. I just showed you I made that one, so I could put something like that in there. Um, but I probably wouldn't because, let's see, do I have a lot of roses right there? Well, no, not really. Oh, no, that's there. I wouldn't want to put that there. I did make this. This is really cute. This is from a piece of paper. Um, it was a piece of snippet or junk paper from a uh, no, from a trace of sparkle, Jennifer. And these were her scraps left over from her tea dyed papers. And then I used bits and pieces from Ruby and Pearl's kits, different kits. And I used scraps and a, a, a picture. And then I used a piece of vintage lace. And I made a little journaling tag. So I was thinking that would look adorable in there. All right. So there we go. Uh, let's see. I did add lace to this. Another piece of vintage lace. I don't know if I'll do anything else. I mean, you could just, you know, tuck something in there if you wanted. You could do that. So you're seeing all the things that I've made. Um, I was going to show you separately, but... Oh, I have a little tuck spot here. Now let me see. I need a card that would fit up there just to show you. I made a little heart tuck spot. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. And you just put it up there. I would think a smaller tag would be better. I don't have one, but if I had a small tag, um, I do, I'll have to make one. I can see I'm gonna have to do that. So you would put a small tag up there, okay? So that's what's gonna go there. Now, where did that go? I had it in a pocket, didn't I? Oh, I had it down here. I think that's where I'm gonna want it to go. I really like it there. I'm thinking it would be pretty there. All right, so I think that could go there. We get to the other side, we're gonna need to make a tag for there. I did add a piece of the washi here. Um, chapter one papers again. Let's see. What else do I have done here? I haven't decorated that yet, which I need to go back and decorate that other pocket on the other side. Here's one I did do. And you could slip something in under here. You could definitely tag, pick a tag or a pocket. Where am I? You guys, what happened to the, oh, there they are, under here. I could put something like this here, and I'll go over those in a minute. No, I don't think it would fit, it's too heavy, too big. And um, then I have another spot here that you could put, this is the kind of thing you wanna put in these kind of open pockets, is maybe a little something like this. Mm, I think I'm liking this one maybe for right here. This is a hidden pocket. Now I did, Monday's video was how you make these, and I'll, I'll show you what I ended up doing with them. So we go like this and like this. And I did add a piece of washi right there. And I think that's pretty much all I've got so far. But you know what? It's already almost all full. So I love that. Where did I, did I have another spot for that? No, I don't. So I'm going to have to figure out where I want to put that one. Um, so quickly... You see everything I've made so far for that. Now, in the middle, we have that one big piece that goes in the middle. And then these were the hidden pockets. So this was the first one I did. And I backed it with some paper and added some. I did a little collage there. I did a little collage here. Um, I put a little paper clip with a scrap on there. Uh, this was the tag that goes inside that I think I was working on. And so I just did a little collage work here. Isn't that cute? I'm really happy with it. And when you take the paper clip off, you know, we have a little scrapping there. Um, and then, you know, you have this big piece of writing paper if you want to use it in your um, journal. And this goes up inside. And let me get that there. 
Let me put the little paper clips back. I'm gonna add this over here, which looks really cute with everything. I'm actually gonna take that paper clip off till I get it down in there because it does not wanna go. There we go. Um, I kept this pretty much French inspired and this is all ruby and pearl here. Here's the other one I did. And it's got a lot of layers. It has a cute little tag you can write on. And again, more French words, some embossed paper, some vintage book, uh, coffee dyed paper, ruby and pearl. This is again, some, you know, gathering some goodies. Um, you take this out and you have a lovely little, isn't that pretty? And I put a little tab on it and put some ribbon and then you can write on the inside. Yummy, right? Oh, I just love it. So you put that into the top. And of course, you can open it up. And I kept it. This writes very well. I'll have to get a scrap and show you how well with a black pen. You can really write well on that. It'd be really pretty to journal in, I think. I mean, I would love to journal in it. Um, so we go like this. And then we're going to put this little piece up in the top. And it's all about the layering with these. Layering all the different colors and pieces. And um, again a piece of vintage scrap lace that comes from my itty bitty jar, you know, my scrap jar. Um, you can add another, back here, you could add a, another tag or journaling card or a piece of paper, whatever you like. Put this one on here. That helps keep your pocket closed. You could put something in there. There's, there's places to put little things if you want to add more. But of course, the more you add, the more bulk you have, and then not everything will fit in your journal. So I'm trying to figure out what I want where. I think well, it's on the next page. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to put this one back here. And then this front one, I am actually thinking I'm going to put it in the front pocket. I'm thinking there's a good chance it's going into the front pocket. Come on. It's sticking to the lace. Oof. Goodness gracious. Okay. So there we have it. It's getting very full. It only needs a few more actual things and pockets. But I am going to make more stuff because I want to, I want to add some laces and some um, bits and pieces and images. But I want to show you how far I've gotten on this. Uh, oh, I did make two other things for this, so let me show you. Now, these are Rachel's um, Roxy Creations Challenge, and this is number six, I believe. Um, number five, I didn't do. I just, it didn't do anything for me. I mean, it was a great challenge, but it was all about stamping and collaging, and I, I just didn't really have the time or the desire to do it, so I skipped that one. So this is actually the one I made to go into my scrapbook, and this is a document holder. And isn't this sweet? Don't you love it? Let me let me make sure you're seeing and that the camera's on. And we are recording, and we are okay. So the goal is to take a piece of whatever kind of paper you want, scrapbook or whatever, but it needs to be foldable. You can't, you don't want anything super heavy duty. If you get too heavy, it won't fold like you need and um, it'll be real difficult. So I just used uh, Rachel's uh, kit. This is her document kit. And um, these were the blank pages, the ones that weren't decorated. And then I added vintage book page and a pretty, pretty uh, picture. These are from, I think these are, um, oh, Raspberry Rose uh, it, from Ruby and Pearl. And this was her kit. And then here's some more vintage book page. This is from my actual um, digitals uh, that are in my shop. That's one of them. And then this is just a piece of junk paper that I found. And this is vintage um, that my dear, dear friend got for me. Um, ledger paper. And then um, I... This is one of my French digital, uh, one of my French documents that I just printed on the opposite side of Rachel, so I could use a real document, a looking document on the back of hers. And it created, you punch holes and it created the most adorable document holder. Isn't it cute? So this was just my sample, and I tied it with some vintage twine that I had. Um, did I go around twice? I might have, so let me see if I did. Yeah, because I've not, I have not burnished it down hard. I kind of like that fluffy, full, real document look, you know. So I didn't, I didn't. Um, now I think that waxed 
thread would be awesome. Wax linen thread or wax thread would be great because it wouldn't come untied so easy. But this is what's going in my um, idea book. And there's really not room on the next page. It's too bulky. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it in the back here. I think that's what I've decided. I'm going to stick it maybe all the way down in there if it'll go. Yeah, maybe it'll go in here better. There we go. So it's in my idea book. And that's mine and then I, i'll show you the other two i made i'm going to be making a third one if you want to see how to make them but rachel does have her weekly challenge that you can go watch at rachel's roxy creations i think it's roxy creations um so there we go there's my idea book and it's already getting fat so <laughs> it's, i'm glad i have the long ties my husband was saying those ties are kind of long i said oh for a reason darling now I made these two to go one or both into this journal. Uh, I just think it was going to make it super fat, but we'll see. So I did one using um, Ruby and Pearl's papers and bits from one of her. I think this is um, Raspberry Rose, but this is from her, um, her, the kit I've been playing with you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Um, I just drew. Let me see. A complete blank. I've used it so much and I've said it so much. I think my brain has just completely worn itself out. I, oh my gosh, I just don't know. This is the kit. I'm like, where did my little, I have a little note that I put in here so I know what the kit is. Ah, did I lose it? I guess I lost it. I think it's Memories of Love or something of love. Oh, I apologize. So hard to keep these all straight. And honestly, I've, it's been about four days since I've slept all the way through the night. I've only been sleeping three or four hours, if that. I'm awake all night long, so I'm a little out of it. I apologize. Um, anyway... Go to Ruby and Pearl. You, you'll, you'll see her beautiful, beautiful kits. It's the one I've been working with for this whole time. So anyway, uh, the images from there as well. I uh, Vintage book page. Another one of the images from the kit. These are all from the kit. And I thought they would make a great, you know, um, what you want to do when you put it in here is to give them, put it in here is to give them extra pieces to play with, either to write on or to decorate with, but the fun part is creating a, a, and it's still so yummy, a document kit. And then I cut out some, some bits and pieces from her kits and made that. Let me put, tie that. Now that would be wonderful in here. And I think if I can find room I will put it in here. I just have to find a page that's not being used. Like maybe right here. I don't know. We'll have to see where it's going to go. I'm wondering if maybe that should be in my back cover. Because I have the other one in the other front and one in the back. I wanted two in there. But maybe I will only put one. We will see. Then this one can go in here like this. Oh, right next to that page. Huh. Isn't that cute? So we have that. It looks good. I'm really happy with it. It's getting very fat and sassy. It just has a couple more pieces to go in it. And then I do want to add some laces and some images and some stamping. Um, but we're getting very close to, we're, I'd say we're three quarters of the way done on this journal. Isn't that great? I'm in love with it. I hope you like it too. Look at that. I think it's, what did I say it was called, you guys? I could just kick myself. I don't like it when I don't know the name of something. I used to remember everything. I used to have total, total, total recall. But honestly, this dog on medicine I'm on has just messed with my brain so bad. I can't stand it. So let me see. Um, if I wrote down the name of the digitals in my video 
I didn't. You know, your friend's a complete and total dipstick. Um, let me see if I can find it. Messages of love. Messages of love. I'm so sorry. I knew it was messages or memories. Messages of love. Makes sense. Love letters, right? So then I made this one too. This one, I used a combination of things from Ruby and Pearl and Rachel. And um, this is her raspberry, uh, raspberry rose. And then that one too. And then this is Uniquely Ella. But again, we've got Vintage Book Page. We've got this fun check. This is from one of my kits. Um, you can find it in my shop. This one is Vintage Paper Book Page. I put a little piece of tracing paper in here. I thought that made it really authentic, a piece of... And then this had a little rip in it, so I just repaired it because this is Vintage Paper. And then um, this is like over the back as you can see so when you look at it over here you have this fun little piece and when you open it up when you take it off you have a journaling card but you can put it on for decoration which is what I wanted it for was for decor and um but then you know it, it fits inside and you have a pretty piece here so you just take and fold it up and fold it down and I created a little snippet that's on here and I use some um, ticking and some what's that called cheesecloth and then some snippets there and I used a little paper clip to put it on and then I put a word here and a, and a darling a beautiful lady so this is another one of those I don't know if this one will go in here or whether it's going to be a um I think it's too much for one journal. I just have to decide which one I like best. I think the, I mean, I like them both a lot. So it just depends on what you, what you want to put in there. But I actually made it for that journal, but you know, it doesn't have to be. So those are all the goodies I've been working on and making. And you saw me put them right into the journal, which I'm really, really happy with. Um, I still have a bunch of little things to go in there. So we're getting there. Um, messages of love i'm going to write that down because my brain is fried um, 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 um. i need a pen hold on a minute And I put the date on there so when I'm looking for a kit, I I can find it in my digital files. It's easier for me to find it by date. So let me just put that in there. All right, now I won't forget again. Well, huh, yes, I will, but I'm going to try not to. And, you know, you know how that goes. So um, I thought you guys might, let me see how much time I have left before I make that decision. Oh, quite a bit. I thought maybe we could make one of those lovely um, document holders because I'm working on another uh, another um, tall journal and I'm going to be using um, Damask Roses from Chapter 1, which I believe is Jan and Sue. Hopefully I got it right this time, you guys. <laughs> I apologize. I always thought it's a one gal. I guess it's two of you and I didn't realize that. Someone corrected me. And generally, if I watch a video and I see you, I connect you and your name together. But if I don't see a video of you, sometimes I can't remember who the designers are. So I apologize for that. So the first thing I want to do is this is one of the pages from the kit. I'm in love with this kit. I normally only work in pinks, but I this comes from that vintage, uh, romantic, Victorian, or renaissance Ren renaissance look and um, i really like that now i've printed on both sides of the page so that um, when you open it you have a really cool thing to look at so i do have white edges i wasn't great at cutting this out because i just did it real quick with my scissors so the first thing you want to do is i personally prefer to make the the body first the folds i want to put the folds in so I'm going to take it, I'm going to pick an end where I want it to be my top, and I'm going to fold it in about an inch. 
I don't know if I did that right. Let me see if it's an inch or if I'm off. I, lately, I've been just close, but no cigar. Okay, that's an inch. Oh, that's under an inch. So I folded that really crooked. And later, it does matter. So I kind of want to keep it right around the inch. It doesn't have to be identical, but it's got to be close enough. Okay, so we got the first inch. Then we bring this up. Let's see. Oh, no. Then we need to make another fold. Okay, so we made our first inch. Now we're going to fold it down a little bit more. Um, and on this one, you want about two inches. I would say two inches. It depends on the height of your paper, though, too, right? Or centimeters. I don't know. Uh, let me see if I have my metal ruler. I should have it right here. Where'd it go? Okay, so the equivalent of two inches is, shoot, I don't have the right one to tell me the difference in my centimeters. Okay, so two inches or five centimeters. Okay, so I'm not good with centimeters. We don't, we're not taught in that here in the U.S. So, but I do have a ruler that does it and I can look it up for you a little bit. Now I do want to kind of, I see an edge that I don't want. All right, now, you know me. So before I go any further, I'm not a fan of the sharp corners. So you could leave them as they are, or you can do what I just did. I'm just putting a little scant quarter inch. I'm not putting a big old curve. I just want a little bit. Uh, it's no different than when Rachel clips her corners, right? To me, that would still leave me with the sharp edges I don't really want. So let me go like that. I, I, I'm making a new journal, so I thought, well, I want to make one for this, so I would just go ahead and do it right now. Then it's ready to go, right? So we have that, we have that, and then we want to take this and we want to fold it up. Now, you can go all the way to the line, but I'm personally not going to go all the way to the line. Although I do have to see, I can't have it over about three and a half inches, so I am going to have to take it pretty darn close to the top of that line because I need it to not be over, well, that's three and three quarters. I don't know if that would fit in a skinny journal. Hold on a minute. Now, this is the skinny journal I'm working on. And I was going to do it in this video, show you how I'm doing it. But let me see if I fold it. Oh, yeah, that fits in there fine. Um, I'm doing it with a Amazon packaging bag. Okay, so my next one's going to be with an Amazon packaging bag. I decided I don't like how stiff and unyielding the the ad the cardboard ads that I get in the mail, the junk mail. I don't like how stiff those are. So not for the tall journal or not that tall journal anyway. So there you got it. You have your folio folder. It's the holder. I want to make sure it's even down the sides. Okay, so there we have it. Now we want to decide what is going in here. Now, I've chosen this, um, uh, an Italian book page. I've chosen some old vintage music and some vintage um, ledger paper, blank ledger paper, so it could be written on. I am going to take my ruler. I'm going to try to get rid of those white edges if I can. Ripping. I'm not sure if it's my day for ripping or not. We will see in just a minute. There we go. One more. Oop, oop. Come on now. Don't be moving on me. I have to rip on top of other papers, otherwise, because this board is too slippery and it just runs right out from under the ruler every time. Come on, you stinker. Come on. There we go. All right. Now, this is going to be the image that's inside of this one. So, I have to see if it's going to fit or is it too wide. I find it to be a bit too wide. So, actually, I am going to rip it down. It's I don't want it that, that big. I want it to be a bit smaller than the document cover. Right? 
So I'm gonna take it down on the sides quite a bit. And I don't care if it's crooked. I want it to kind of be sort of crooked. I'm gonna take a little bit off the bottom because I don't want it quite as long as the other one. And then do I want to take any off the top? No, because there's an 1855 date there that I don't want to take off. So let's grab all of our goodies here and get those into the... I'm going to move my garbage out so I quit throwing it on the floor. <laughs> my husband said he would appreciate it if I didn't throw my scraps on the floor. Well, I don't do it on purpose, honey. I swear. So I hope you all had a lovely Valentine's Day and a, you treated yourself. If you didn't have anyone else treating you, hopefully you treated yourself to something lovely. My husband was kind enough to buy me some beautiful roses. And um, honestly, I'm filming this in advance. So yes, he's already bought me the roses and it came with a darling little box, which I meant to bring up here to show you guys a little heart box to put some of my trinkets in, my bling bling in. He said he saw it and he knew that I would love it for my, my journaling stuff. Isn't that cute? He said everything he buys me now, he thinks, can she use it for something else? I have done a, he's just amazing that he um, thinks about that now. All right, so you want about five pages. I did do one with more than five. I did seven and it was really difficult to fold, I have to tell you. Now, I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to put this on here and you'll notice I'm doing it upside down, right? on purpose and you'll see why in a minute how many pieces of paper do i have it feels like i have a bunch i do i don't want to put two in there no 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 -uh. okay so we'll do that and then i want to get one two three four i want to get an image on the very top now i used a lady in one of them so i'm thinking i want this lovely little image here Now, aren't those pretty? We have two pretty little pieces of, that we can use. And then I'm going to set these aside. I'm not going to use those. Then I thought I might want to add an image on my image. Um, Sorry, I'm concentrating here. Anyway, I was saying that I hope you all had a fabulous Valentine's Day. I was not sure what mine was holding. If I felt good enough and my cold wasn't horrific on Valentine's Day, my husband's supposed to take me to the movies in another town because our town has limited of showings and things. And um, he wants to take me out to a movie, you know, and dinner. But I think we're going to actually cook. Uh, my husband's great at barbecuing lobster tails. So... For Valentine's Day, I'm getting lobster tails. Now, if you don't have a special someone, you could certainly do that for yourself. Go off to the movies, have a nice little day. Love on yourself. Love, love, love on yourself. So, hopefully you did. And if you haven't, you could do that any day of the week. You do not have to wait for Valentine's Day. Absolutely do that any day of the week. Treat yourself good. Alrighty. Oh, there's some wonderful things here that I think I'm going to use to decorate the outside of the folio. So now I have, the only problem with this is that if I put it in this way, I'm going to have to put my, to get everything in there, I would have to do, so I'm going to have to go long ways with this to put it in here. Or... Because you want to catch it in your brads, right? Or your string or, or whatever you're going to use, right? So now I know, whoops, I know this is too wide for this music paper. So what I'm going to do, yep, that's what I thought. I am going to fold it back. So it will fit my papers. There we go. And we have this one. 
Yep, that one's longer than the music paper, so we're going to put that in like that. We're going to put this one now. I can either put it in so it goes in one side of the bread, which I might do, and then put this one so it goes in the other bread. So it'll just kind of swing a little bit. So we want to go like this. Now we want to get it inside of this because this is technically our holder. I am making it matchy matchy because it is for this particular digital kit and journal. sure it's fairly straight all right and then I would put a I'm gonna put a clip on it to keep it from moving around on me all right because so with my luck everything will move now you can use a little small paper punch you can use your crocodile I do have a small little paper punch and I think will work I've been using the small on the on the crocodile but Oh, the only thing is I will end up with it in two different places. And so I, uh, one too high and one too low. So let me. I'm going to use this small hole. And I'm going to move it down to about there. And I'm going to move it down about to about there it's not going to be perfect and even you can of course you can absolutely measure um not my thing but you know you can do that and i recommend it if you think it's going to bother you if it's not perfectly you know situated where you want it to be sorry i'm just cleaning out my little they get so full of paper oh my gosh and then you can't do a good punch all right, now I have brads. Let's see what color brads are I want. I'm gonna say these. I'm gonna want the antique gold. If I have antique gold. There's one and two. It has brass, silver, a bunch of different colors from the paper studio. It was 50 brads, but I'm telling you, I've been going through these like water lately. I have some uh, vintage ones too, but I like the size of these. I've also got mini ones. I've got some little teeny tiny ones. Now you go from the back to the front. This way you can take the papers out and use them any way you want, right? How close was I? I bet I wasn't very close. I see I'm off here two and not quite a half. Oh, not even close. <laughs> Woo, I was way off on those. Okay. I'm going to claim it's the still all the snot in my head from the head cold, from the sinus infection. I'm still not better, guys, even with the antibiotics. I'm still struggling and still not sleeping. <sighs> Maybe someday, huh? All right. So there you have it. Now, Remember those folds we made earlier? We're going to use those folds. I'm actually going to ink that fold a little bit. Grab the wrong, there we go. There we are. Then I'm going to take, and I am going to fold these up. This, just these, not the, this one, not this one, not the back, but this one. These are the papers that are too long, which there's no such thing as too long, right? Right, we can use what we want. So then I'm going to fold on that line that I pre-folded and fold that down. Now, you see when you get all these papers, why you don't want to get too, you want to leave a little room in there so that you can fold it easily. And then I'm going to just go over the edges. 
Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love this. Oh, you should. It feels so yummy with all these papers. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing? You've got all these yummy, yummy papers to use. One, two, three, four, and these are five. No, I feel like I could have put one more paper in there. I think next time I'll put another piece of tracing paper in there because I really like that in there. That gives me the old world document feel, you know, that I like. So, you know, I like anything old world. You know, you know, you know, right? You know me if you've been watching me for very long. Old world, vintage, the whole bit. Whoops. Okay. So, there you have it. Oh, I'm in love with these. I truly am. Now, this has wonderful things on here, so I don't feel like I have to decorate that part. But, and even on there, but over here, I feel like it could use a little something, right? A little something, something. And I don't want to crease it too hard. So, now I see there's words here. Mm, I think I know what I'm going to use. I know what I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to use this. Okay, and this. And this. I'm going to be ready for a little nappy poo after this. Ugh. Okay, I didn't do the best job, but that's okay. That's what we have the ink for. The distress ink is to take care of the part that I muck up. If I muck it, I can fix it. If you roll it around in a circle, it gets a lot more ink on your um, your dauber, and you don't have to dab it in as often. I was thinking we could put that on there, but I also had another idea. See this little piece right here? Oh, might help if I had my, my little mini scissors. What I thought I would do is maybe do a quick fussy cut. Of course, it would help if I actually held on to the paper, right? Okay. Concentrating. There we go. All done. Quick, quick, like a bunny. Quick, like a bunny. Get rid of any white marks that we don't like. And we can There we go. I like that. Okay. So let's Get some glue, 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 glue. Where are you? Hmm. I see a piece I don't like on here. It's driving me not so. There we go. Better. I see something that is disturbing me there. I don't know where that came from. Goodness. There's some kind of glue bugger there. Eighteen eighty six or eighteen sixteen, I can't tell. <laughs> All right, and we will put that on top of that. Create a little layering. And everything that's here can be used in a journal, including this piece that is our back piece. Once you take out the brads, everything can be used in the journal or to create another journal or to work on a journal, right? I'm looking to see if I have any little scraps of paper that I can do a quick little stamp on. Let me see. Got my favorite Tim Holt stamps. You know, we all have our favorites, and I certainly have mine. Okay, I want to put a little 
paper on there. Of course, I could use a little block. It would make it easier for me, wouldn't it? Someone's at our door. I don't know if it's my neighbor. Sounds like Joe. Joe. It is Joe. It is Joe. I can hear him. I think he brought us something fun. He's a fabulous cook, too. So he brings us goodies when he's making. He's having a little Super Bowl party, so he probably brought us some goodies. I didn't feel good enough to go anywhere today, so we didn't go. There we go. I'm going to just put that on there. I'm going to leave that there, and I'll do some stamping when I'm done. Oh, gosh. What is stuck in my... There's something stuck up in that lid there that just keeps making a mess. Okay. We're going to have some, it's Super Bowl Sunday here when I'm filming this, so uh, the game started just a bit ago, or is about to start. I'm not sure which, I think just about to start. There you go. Isn't that cute? So, we're all set. Now, we can tie that with whatever we want. I don't know what color string I want, so maybe I'll just use my um, twine that I like that's very old. Well, not very old, but old enough. Honestly. As a young, young girl in elementary school, I used to make the most adorable, I thought they were adorable, uh, macrame bracelets. And I used this stuff for it. And this is the original stuff I used. I was looking for the end of that. I thought I had the end. Well, apparently not. Let me cut this. Yeah, not only is Joe the guy who helped us do our floors, but he's a really good cook. So he's bringing us goodies. Mm, I can't wait to see what we're getting. He likes to watch all the chefs and make all the really cool, interesting foods. He knows I can't, like, I don't use a lot of spicy foods, but Greg likes them. So I'll bring Greg the stuff that I won't cook. <laughs> Here you go, let me see what time it is, you guys. Oh, we have a little bit of time. So, there you have it. Now, that is for our next journal, which is... I love the way the back came out. That came out adorable. I mean, you could put a little something up here. If I had some more roses, maybe. Um, do I have any extra roses on here? I mean, I could add a little extra rose up there. I'll have to see what I have in the kit that I could snag um, to cut out and put in there. But, um, yeah, I have my cover that I am starting. Um, that's the inside. That's the front cover. Let's go. And I have covered the bag and all the goodies that were on the bag with some paper and um, I am gonna put laces and stuff on it. So this is what I made this for, is for this journal. And this journal is big. It's, it is a very tall journal. It's 12 inches tall. And it's gonna be um, four and three quarters, which is pretty standard, you know. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, I am working on putting, hear that? Is that yummy? Oh, what? Oh, I love that. That is going to be so fun in there. So that's the first piece I've already made for that. It's already set and ready to go. So next time you see me, I should have some pieces done there. So I think that's about everything. Oh, I want to thank all of you who went over to Antoinette's shop, um, which is Creative Lefty, and purchased some wonderful lace goodies from her. Um, 
So I know quite a few of you went over there and she was really thrilled. So thank you, thank you for supporting myself, my daughter, and now my sister. Uh, she has some lovely lace bits that she makes on her lace embroidery machine. Her machine makes some wonderful things. And so um, I actually need to place an order myself and get some goodies from her. I need some more stuff. She does give me things to show, but I also buy from her too because I want to support her. So anyway, guys, I... I think I'm going to stop right there. Um, I was going to work on that journal with you, but I don't think I have enough time. Let me see. No, I don't really have a lot of time, so I don't think that's going to work. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else in my little room here that I haven't shown you. I know, um, no, I think I've, I've shown you all the new things I've bought and at least anything I thought we could share. I get stuff, all bits and pieces, you know, I order for myself here and there, but um, I was trying to think if I got anything else really wonderful and exciting. That I have. I'm sure I did, but I'm drawing a complete blank. So thank you anyway. Uh, so I hope you all had a wonderful Wednesday and you enjoyed that little project. And you got to see all the goodies, all my goodies for this journal. Because I'm really excited about it and I love it so much. And I know I'm going to be using some of Antoinette's bits and pieces in there as well. And I'm going to be using some little uh, hearts. I had another heart I threw in there. Where did that go? Oh, I've got this one too. So I'm thinking about finding some space for all of these goodies and that. This I know is going to go in the middle. Once I get everything put back in here. Gosh, I just made a mess, didn't I? got to get this stuff back where it goes. Put that in there. This is going to go in the wrap, I think. I don't know. Or somewhere in the journal. I think it's too wide to go in the journal. We're going to have to see. And I'm, I'm hoping to finish it up in the next uh, few days and um, get it all done, you know. So I can get this into my shop up for sale. If anyone's interested, let me know. Uh, and I think that's about it. So all right, you guys. Guys, have a wonderful Wednesday and a great rest of your week. And I love you guys. I'll see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.